If you're engagement ring shopping, you need to make sure that you get the perfect shaped center stone. In this video, I'm breaking down everything that you need to know about a pear cut diamond so that you will have the tools to decide if this is the right diamond to put in your engagement ring. Let's start out with a few pros of a pear cut diamond. The first pro is because the pear cut diamond is a little bit elongated in and of itself, it is going to give the illusion of a finger that is more elongated and slender. This is oftentimes a very attractive attribute that a lot of women appreciate when buying an engagement ring. The second pro to pear cut diamonds is they are known for hiding inclusions very well. So even when considering a pear cut diamond that might have an SI1 or even SI2 clarity, when those inclusions are present, you can feel more confident that it's gonna be harder to identify those inclusions to the naked eye. So that is another pro of the pear cut diamond. Before moving on to a few of the cons of a pear cut diamond, I wanna hit on this one attribute that is extremely important to know as it pertains to pear cut stones. As you can see from these three videos, not all pear cut diamonds are cut the same way, and the main difference between these three is the ratios. One of these is 1.53, one is 1.47, and one is 1.45, and as you can tell, the lower you go in ratio, the wider or fatter this diamond is going to look. So this is very important because going back to our same point, the elongated finger illusion with a longer pear cut diamond is important, but if you're not careful, you can get a ratio that is a little bit on the lower side and you'll have a rounder pear cut stone, which is going to take away that desirable kind of elongated dainty finger attribute that a lot of people are after. Moving on to cons, there are two major cons that I have found with a pear cut diamond. The one major con of a pear cut diamond is the sharp edge can be prone to cracking or chipping. Truthfully, this isn't an issue that happens a lot, but if you are getting a pear cut diamond set and there is a prong that is attached to the sharp edge of the diamond, you need to be aware that there can be some cracking or chipping that may occur in the future. The second con with a pear cut stone is a potential for what's called a bow tie effect. All you need to know is that sometimes in an elongated cut stone like a pear shape, in the middle of the diamond there can be an absence of light and it looks a little bit darker and it kind of looks like a bow tie which is where it gets its name from. The best way to avoid this is to make sure you're getting a very good cut stone or better. I'm about to go over some of my buying details to make sure that you can avoid this bow tie effect. By the way, if this video is adding value and you think you might want to work with us, our link is in the description. You can check it out if you'd like. Right before I jump into some buying recommendations, obviously getting the right shape stone is about matching your personality to that piece of jewelry. So with that being said, Katherine Heigl, Victoria Beckham, and Jessica Simpson are three different celebrities that wear a pear cut stone. So if you wanna check out a little bit more of what this looks like in a style that matches a pear cut stone, you can check those three celebrities out. Now finally, let me give you some buying recommendations for a pear cut stone. If we are looking at the four C's, I would say get a very good cut stone or better. As far as color goes, I recommend an I in color or better. I typically say that a G or H is my sweet spot, and unless you wanna spend a lot of extra money on a colorless stone, I really don't see a lot of value in going into the colorless category. And we already talked about this, but because a pear cut stone hides inclusions well, I would be willing to go down to an SI1 in clarity. I would be very careful going down to SI2, but sometimes you can find an eye clean version of an SI2, and I wouldn't be afraid to go with one of those. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna buy a pear cut stone, and if this video helped you, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. We will catch you on the next video.